What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. I just wanted to start off the video here in the backyard, chilling with all the farm animals. I feel like we've been doing so much fish tank stuff that we've drifted away from like the backyard in the last couple of videos. Of course, the good old humidity in Florida. Everyone just got some fresh water and breakfast. As you can see, the pigs are all eating. Coon Coon, what's up, buddy? He's a mess maker, of course. You guys saw the pond video, putting the plants in. All the plants have gotten so much bigger already. Let's take a look. Not necessarily bigger, I kind of used the wrong word there, but everything has grown into the ground and started to establish itself. As you can see, all of these plants, look at that beautiful red flower right there. All the plants that we installed alongside Chalili, but these are all starting to get so big. Look how big this got already. I mean, that's crazy. So once this starts just to grow, it's gonna be amazing with this nice backdrop of plants. We're gonna do a little route here, but just look how nice the yard looks right now. It is so beautiful. Come on in. Today's video is sponsored by our favorite, API. They've been in the industry for over 60 years, developing and perfecting products for your ponds or aquariums. Over the last couple of years that I had personally been working with API and keeping this rack inside my fish building, I've obviously ran into some issues. And without API being right here in my building, I could have had a lot worse things happen. You gotta be prepared for just about everything and that is why I'm highly encouraging anyone that owns an aquarium or a pond to have API close by. They've got about everything you can think of, from test kits to water conditioners to fish medications to even nutritional products. In big bottles like this, if you have a pond, even medium size, all the way to the smaller bottles. If you own an aquarium, you've probably needed Aqua Essential at some point. And this right here is an all-in-one concentrated aquarium water conditioner. Detoxifying ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, removes chlorine, chloramines, and heavy metals, good for freshwater and saltwater aquariums. In this case, I have used Aqua Essential many, many times to dechlorinate the water. When I'm filling this up after doing a nice water change, you're gonna wanna dechlorinate your water. Which is as simple as just popping the lid open, shake bottle well before use, add five milliliters per 10 US gallons. On the cap here, it says 10 milliliters and five milliliters. And here we go. Boop. Now this is about an 80 gallon tank. I do that four times. I use this stuff all the time and I know if you have an aquarium, you use it just as much as me. So make sure, shop API products right now at Chewy. The link is down below. Again, link is down below. Shop all API products at Chewy. Now that you guys know about the best products around, let's get back into today's video. Hey Leo, I see you up there. We got Leo in his back enclosure. It's so weird from the window, it looks like a little foggier, but then you come over here, it's just crystal clear. Arowana. Oh my gosh, stay back. Got the peacock, arowana, red tails. Everyone is doing amazing in here. On over to the saltwater pond, our best friend lately. I got the UV fully up and running. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen this, but the UV's got a pump on it now and it's coming out this side. And we have yet another flow and it's also providing some oxygen. So the little fish right here, which by the way are so trained, if I just come down here, they'll come right to me. Come on guys. Come on everyone, hey buddies. If you haven't watched the video, we got four monos for the saltwater pond. These are our little tester fish that we plan to keep actually because they do get big. But they're doing so well alongside everything else we got. Like our sea urchin who's right here, I just fed him this morning. And it's gone. Yeah, Uni's first meal, woo woo! The saltwater pond is doing so, so good. And it's just a matter of time before we're really getting to getting the cool stuff for that. Cornelius, oh you, I. You think I didn't see you just hop back in there? Our American bullfrog is inside his dungeon hole right there. Of course, Mata Mata. Fly River Turtle right here. Outside the building we go. I love giving you guys a quick, quick update on everything. We haven't really filmed any of this in a while. Mango, do not tip the bowl over. Do not tip the bowl over. He's drinking. They just got some fresh, fresh water, so they're all loving it. And Lady May's in the back over there. They're all eating. Oh, biggest news yet. I could finally fill in this trench. The power people came. Huh. It's been months. You know how many people have literally stepped in this and almost broke their ankle? It's insane. Come here. Boots. What are you doing up there? Come here, Boots. Come here. Actually, you know what? Stay there. I spent enough money on that thing. You should enjoy it. This thing came out so crazy and the goats absolutely love it. Last but not least, before we get today started, Rick and Morty. Hey, Rick and Morty. Of course, they're doing good as well. I'm literally 
I'm, I'm sweating already. We've been out here for like five minutes just showing you guys the animals. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. Hopefully you enjoyed a little update on all the animals here in the backyard. Let's get today's video started. We're here at Koi. I brought my dog with me. I never bring Mia to the Koi shop. Yeah, we're here. We're gonna pick up some uh, some aquatic plants. Um, they have really cool plants in the back of this place. So let me give it a shot. Might need to get ourselves another UV too. Front pond's getting a little green. I think the UV I have is either out or it's not working. So. Might have to leave it one of these, but first we'll go in the back. Fish store in the back, huh? <laughs> Look at these guys. Lots of different fish. So many different species. A full tank full of, a full tank full of, tank full of females. Look at all these beta fish. They've literally got crayfish. Look at that. Those would be really cool to, oh, actually, can I get a half a dozen of those? I'm gonna see if Thump will eat a crawfish. <laughs> oh, they have colored ones too. They got a blue one and a white one in the back over there. That white one is sick. But we're gonna get a couple of these dark ones. Um, yeah, we'll just do like three of them actually. Okay. Yeah, just do three of them. I wanna see if Dumble eat them. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I think personally, I think he's gonna destroy them. Got some neons, which we all love the neon tetras. I'm not, not gonna lie, I did not expect to film a fish store today, uh, but we're walking through it, so we might as well see what they got, right? Check all that out. They have a great selection here, a very good selection. I mean, if you guys are local and you've never been here before, it's like a little hidden fish store. Um, yeah, it's Koi Smart. Look it up online and definitely come check this out. There's a great selection. The colors in this tank are just crazy looking. Oh yeah. <laughs> got them. We'll see how that does later in this video for sure. That's the fish store. Let's go outside. Come on, Mia. Check out that pond right there. Woohoo! As you can see, they've got some selection of koi fish, some goldfish. If you look inside these bins, there is a selection of quite a few. Look at the butters. Butterfly. Hey, guys. Dude, Mia would slurp one of those right off the ground, right, Mia? Mia loves live fish. You're crazy. He said out here the plants are a little weak right now, but they're here. As you can see, we got some lilies, which we'll definitely be scooping up some lilies. Might as well get those right now, huh? Let's see. Like, these are pretty good looking. Um, I just want to load the pond with them, so. Look at the flower on that one. Here, I'll throw in a baby good. for you. That's got a nice flower. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. That is so tiny. <laughs> is that what they all start out like? Yeah, so I could probably <laughs> show you it on and They just start these, sprouting actually. up. So you see on the leaves how they start getting this dark spot on them? Yeah. Over time, when the leaves start to decay, you see that little baby right there starting to sprout up? Yeah. And then they'll slowly turn into, into that a on little. there, into something a little bigger. Oh, wow. This is like little stages off the leaves. Here. Cool. There's a couple if you want to experiment. Look at all these snail eggs. That's crazy. Look at them all. Probably ram's horns. Ram's Here's horns? Yeah, Are they like a nuisance? Fun. They're not that bad, but look at the, that. The main problem is that the birds like to eat them, ah. and the birds will learn then find your koi fish. The birds are so smart. So first, they come over here, they um, flip the leaves over, grab the snails off the bottom, like how they see them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they bring the snails over to the koi tank, and they try to use it as bait to get the koi up, so they can take. Oh them. my! There's no They're way. So smart. That's crazy. So the birds are very, very smart. <laughs> no, the business hours. So while he's over here picking out all of our new lily pads that we're getting, which are gonna be awesome in the front pond, we're gonna check out what other kind of plants they have. They said they don't have a great variety of plants right now, which as you can see, a lot of this looks like grass. I will walk over here and definitely see that we have a little bit better options over here. Similar to what we just got from uh, Chilili at the backyard pond. There's all these aquatic plants. Nothing's very large. Um, I was hoping there was a little bit bigger, but for me to buy little, little stuff like this, I don't think there's a purpose of it. Um, they'll probably just end up either dying or not growing fast enough to where it's even efficient. So, so I think we're gonna pass on this stuff here. Although these are like a little bit of a good size, so I have to build like a shelf. The lily pads are something I could just drop right in the pond. Probably just do an extra two lilies. I do like these green ones over here. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, over there too. Looks like we're bagged up with two so far. We're gonna get six total lily pads. With six lily pads, we should be able to cover a lot of the uh, water surface from the very back of the pond all the way towards the front. Oh, well, there's, that's what those snail legs are? Yeah. Wow. 
That's what the snail looks like, all those eggs. Look so, at this um, pond. Dude, this, these are beautiful. These, these lily pads. Are, do you want the baskets with them or oh, no? Oh, wow. Because they'll float. But um, basically, I started these by training them by putting rocks on them. I put them in the pots just to kind of keep them in the same place. Yeah, I'll take, take all that. Okay. All the poppies. Flower on that thing. My goodness. Yeah, there we go. They grew together. <laughs> the UV, the one thing I did not want to buy walking in here, but looks like my UV is shot, the one in the front pond, because the water turned green pretty quick. So, unfortunately, um, yeah, this little piece of PVC is $900. Solid. Do me a favor and like this video, and uh, make sure you subscribe with your notifications on, because I gotta buy one of these. We got a lot of plants though, we got a UV now, and then we got a crayfish for the bass. Hopefully he'll eat the bass, we'll eat that. And that's gonna do. <laughs> Go in the car. Load up, Mia. Woo. Whatever you do, Mia, do not break the PVC. It's the next morning, we got a little bit of UV work to do. The sun's not even fully up yet. I'm an early bloomer today. I got home late, so I have all the bags here with just the holes in them so the plants were able to get oxygen overnight. We're gonna take them out now and finally put them in the pond once I fill it up. The pond got really, really dirty for two different reasons. The filter wasn't on the whole entire time. I had to turn it off and on because the power of things that we were doing in the big building. And then two, there's no UV working, so it's very green water. So as you can see, the pond is, is not clear. But I did the leak test and obviously we didn't have any leaks. That's good. Now we can officially fill it up, which is what we're going to do after we finish the UV installation, which won't be too long. As we're filling it up, we're able to just throw our plants in. Then of course, it's gonna be time to go get some fish. First things first, let's unbox this super overpriced PVC. So this bulb right here inside that will actually get plugged into this and then that goes into there. All right, we got that easy. That is 10 times better than this UV because the Evo, this thing, I've never had anything but problems with this one. Um, it's unfortunate too, because we built this building after we put the UV in and in order to change the bulbs, you have to untwist here and you can't get the bulbs out and up because it's inside this housing. So this was very impractical. Every time I would want to change these bulbs in the future, I'd have to cut the PVC here and here and then pull this whole thing out. This is so much easier to maintain and put new bulbs in. I just pull it out and done. Out with the old and in with the new. With just a simple look at the instructions, you'll see the water's supposed to come into here and then out of here by the top here. So we're gonna want the inside right here because this is coming out of the filter, out of the filter into the inside, it's gonna go down and then come out and then straight out of here and then back into the pond. And just like that, our plumbing is done. It comes straight out of the filter into the inside of the UV. The UV is gonna do its thing, of course, then pop out here. I had to drop a 90 and then put a 90 out and back into the pond over here. But not bad, I even left the UV at a slight slant this way, that way when we wanna redo the bulb, we twist it and it comes out away from this edge and we can actually pull the whole bulb out and then replace the bulb. So 10 times easier than it was before. It actually looks a lot better. As I let all this PVC glue dry, I'm going to start filling up the pond. And now that should only take about probably six hours to fully, <laughs> probably, fill, probably like three hours to fully fill up this pond. In the meantime, we could put our plants in. All of the lily pads are in. As the pond slowly fills up, they will all rise to the surface and you just kind of won't see the bottom. If we do need to put these in pots, um, of course I will down the road. This front pond access is very, very easy, so that is no problem. Got some of our floating poppies right here. Those are gonna be nice just wherever they end up staying. Now I used to have a jet over here in the corner which did help get rid of all this muck. As you can see, there's none over there, but there is some over here because there's no flow. Well, I just went to go plug it in and the piece of junk is broken. So uh, I have to uh, probably get a new jet for that side of the pond. Now that the pond is officially filling up, we kind of just wait. We wait till this gets full. In the meantime, I'm gonna shower and go buy a new one of these online. Water is full, lilies have not yet reached the surface. Hopefully in the next day or two, those come all the way up. 
A couple of them came out of their root thing, so I'm gonna go get a couple pots and put all these down so by the time we get fish, we'll have that done. If I open up the filter house here, it's so cool, Hector literally built a perfect filter house to match the house, so you really don't even notice it. We open it up, and as you can see, our filter is doing its thing. You listen really closely. So satisfying. And then over here is our UV, which obviously has no leaks. The professional plumber did that. <laughs> it's not leaking. So the UV is fully set up now. Like I said, very easily can just rechange the bulb now so much better. And that is a 57 watt. It is rated up to 3,000 gallons, so should be good. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, Thump liked it. Look at him in there, he's just chilling. He took that thing down. I knew Thump was gonna like the crayfish though. He loves crayfish, he loves the minnows. If I catch big minnows, he loves big minnows. Second crawfish. Oh! 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 Last crayfish, let's see what happens, ready? Peacock, learn that you're not gonna be able to eat that thing. He's chilling down there, he's at the bottom. The only thing that'll really mess with him is the Oscars and the bass. Nothing else is really gonna want him, so maybe he'll find the rocks over there and live a happy ever after in here. Probably not. We're here at the pet store. Let's see if they've got any in stock. And here's what we're working with selection-wise. They've got them. Of course they've got them. Every time you come here, they've got them. There's a little hi-hat down there. If my camera focuses on them, so cool. We can actually get some bigger ones of those for this exact pond later on. But for now, we'll just stick with these guys right here. These things used to be like $1.50, just like everything else. Um, instead of the mollies, these are a little bit cheaper, so three fifty. dollars Yeah, this whole tank right here. Perfect, yes, please. Look at all these guys. And they're $3.50 each. Perfect. Thank you. Of course, no problem. Got them all. Every single last one of them. Actually, I think we might have missed one. He's in the bushes, but it's fine. He'll be, he'll be good. He's the lone survivor. Yeah, he must be hiding pretty good if there's one in there. Cleared out the whole left tank, though. 23, I think. 23 total fish. Back at the pond now, we have all 23 of our fish, and we're gonna put them in to acclimate. These are our little tester fish, kind of just like what we did with the saltwater pond. We're doing now in the front pond. As you can see right here, the plants have all already started sprouting up towards the surface. Some have reached the surface, and they're gonna do amazing in this pond. I can already tell you that. These two are gonna do great. Lily pads are kind of hit or miss, but as you can see, all of them are also just about to now breach the surface. And over here, we have two other lily pads that are just now touching the surface as well. I actually put them in a pot into that. I'll probably upgrade these guys all into pots soon. I put the leftover poppies back here in the corner. If they grow, they grow. It would be cool to have just plants grown out there. Pond is way, way clear already. This has just been one, literally one day. I haven't got my jet plugged in, but I've got it. It's right there. Same exact wave maker we have on the saltwater pond. It's got the nozzle to go faster or slower. I just gotta get this plugged in, run an extension and stuff like that. But this will be right here and help get rid of all the debris on the bottom over here. Now we just wait, let our fish acclimate, and we'll release them into their new pond very soon. The release of our new 23 fish. Yeah, there they go. They're all swimming around, there's nothing left. There's a platy on top of that. There's another one right there. Oh, there he is. There's another one right down there. <laughs> these fish are so tiny compared to the pond. We're gonna need thousands of them. It's good that these fish do have some plant coverage. As you can see, a lot of the fish are using that. We're definitely gonna need thousands of more of those. Good thing they breed like crazy. These are again, the tester fish, just like the saltwater we just did. These are the same thing for the freshwater front pond. I already know these are gonna do good. We'll be able to order some fish from obviously next day koi soon. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet already. Our platies are loving life in the new pond. A lot of final touches needed to be done for this pond. We did them all. See you right back here in the very next video. Peace.